So in this video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through how to build a Kajabi website from scratch. I'm gonna go into my account and show you step-by-step step exactly how to do this. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I wanna offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access, simply head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so now we are back in the partner site and all we're gonna be doing now is building out your own website. So we're gonna ignore the products, the sales, marketing, the contacts for now. We're just gonna start on website. Now, if this is your first time going into your account, again, I'm in my partner's account, so it will look slightly different from my live account. You need to decide on how you wanna position your homepage and you might actually see, you might not see anything here, it just say start or create homepage. Once you do that, it will then go through and give you some options of templates to use. Now this is entirely up to you which one you want to use. Go through and have a trial of them all. Uh, there are some free ones here, there are some paid ones if you get a bit lower down, but here I'm just gonna use the streamlined home and then I'm gonna add to save templates. I've already got one template already um, as part of my homepage template, but this one is gonna be a secondary. So this is really interesting how your template themes uh, cross map and you can actually just switch them out so as you can see this is my live template that I've already put in place but then if you wanted to it's going to have any save templates down here on the bottom now you can either preview that template you can customize that template or here you can actually set it to your live template so if I was to work on this template and then set it live that's how you can actually work on your templated themes without your your live uh, home page changing you can rename the template you can modify code update the template or export it as a zip so if you have if you have a client or if you have yourself and you wanted to share it with someone you can export this template or any template in that uh, as a matter of fact into a zip file and then send that to somebody who uses kajabi they can upload it into their kajabi and then just um, implement that uh, template and, and work from there but all I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to just go into this template and just customize it, see, show you exactly what you'd be looking at if, it, if you had a blank template. So here, all I've done is in the, because I've pulled through um, my, my logos and everything, it's pulled through my, my image and then it's actually pulled through a small, um, a small logo here. You can actually click on anything in here and then it would show on the left hand side. So any, uh, any block on the main page you can click and then it would just show the details on the left hand side and you can go ahead and edit on the left hand side. At the top, this is actually showing your home page. You can then show your store page. Um, as long as you don't you remember to save something before you're moving from page to page. So you have no nothing there. You can have your about page. Again, there'll be nothing there, but these are called your system pages. And this is what you need to build out first and foremost to actually build out your website. So we're gonna go back to the home page. It's gonna give you different views. So you've got mobile view, tablet view um, in here and desktop view. Just make sure that when you're building out different blocks, they look okay on mobile as well. And then you've got some undo and, and redo. And anytime you want to preview what you've done, just hit the preview button and it will pop out and you can actually see your website, how visitors will see it. So first of all then, I'm gonna go into this image here 
And if I wanted to upload a separate um, logo for this page, I could actually just go and upload my logo again, or you can actually just use the one that's defaulted and it's actually pulled through the same one. Then it's gonna be your header logo and all you need to do is just play around with the image width. There you go, 200 or 250. All you need to do is save that once you're happy with that. Yeah, that looks decent. And then come back. So the little back arrow actually comes back a stage and the little back to design is actually getting you out of the, bit, the page builder. So here are your sections. Hero, you've got three feature columns, text and image, text and image, call to action. You've got a header and a footer and then you've got an exit pop and a two-step opt-in. Now, the header is basically what you see along the front. Like I said, if you either click into it, it will show you that element on the left-hand side, or you can actually navigate to it from the left-hand side to so go into header and then go into the logo and you can see the logo there. And then the footer is pretty much the same. So footer, it will take you to the footer. I don't tend to like the, the image here, so I'll probably get rid of like the, the logo. You can actually either hide it as you can see, that's hidden, or you can just delete it. Um, so have a play around with uh, like the copyright here. I don't want it to say Kajabi. I want it to say Tim Peekman Limited or whatever your, your company is, your brand. You can have a play around with pulling these from one side to the other. So that would have it on the left. And then you can actually add different contents here like social icons. And then you can pull through social icons from your social pages. But if I go back to the main body then, you've got to the right, you've got settings, and this is where you can implement your favicon. So if you wanna have a favicon that populates across your whole system pages, you just click new, update that blue favicon again, and then click save, and then that is in there for all of your system pages. So the beauty, the main beauty about using system pages is once you populate a header or a footer on your system pages and then click save, it will then implement across all of your system pages. So you've got you've got congruency throughout all of your main pages, bar landing pages. So a style guide here, if you wanted to use different or try different uh, fonts, this is the body font. If you wanted to try different body fonts or heading fonts, just go through this. But I'm just gonna cut straight to the sections and then go into the hero section. now. You've got a few options when people land on your homepage. You're either, you want to call them to action. They've either, got, they've either got to understand what this page is all about, what this company is all about. Is it right for them? And if those two are a yes, then where do they go to do the next thing? So Kajabi's given you a good example. All the tools you need to build a successful online business. If you're happy with that, put some sub copy in here. And then you could put something like um, download guide and then you could take them over to a landing page so you click save download guide you could take them over to a landing page where it just gives you a guide if you wanted to edit out anything here like this call to action button again i've pulled through my my colors so i can actually add that in you can change the size of the button you can make it a solid or an outline button it's up to you i'd probably say solid with a darker background and then you can have it uh, full width or auto. And then you can actually click on the box itself, the container, and then you can actually make it uh, down to six, down to four. So if you wanted it a little bit bigger than, uh, or a little bit longer than it is now, I'll probably click over to five. If that happens, by the way, just actually go down to the desktop layout and then click on desktop layout and then give it, place this block on its own row. So this one here and then click save. What it's trying to do is it's got this main container and you see this, the width of uh, this main container here is eight and then the width here is four. So if they, it adds up to 12, if it was eight and four, they want to try and, Kajabi will try and put it on the same page or on the same line. So if you don't want that, just keep it on its own line. But if you wanted a slightly bigger button, you can actually say full width and then it would go to the full width of the container. So these are just some of the tactics um, to actually work with updating or designing these individual blocks. If you go to background, there's an image there that it's giving you for default. You can either put a video in here or a background image, but actually you can also have none. So it will just pull through a color. And then the colors here, the background color, you can actually just click on a gray and then it will just give you that gray. 
save that. And again, these are the reasons why you've got the desktop and the mobile. So you've got the mobile version and the desktop version. Desktop layout, you can hide the section or show the section on desktop layout and vice versa for the mobile layout. So if you wanted to build a section only for um, your desktop, you can hide it on mobile. And if you wanted to build a section only for mobile, you can then hide it on desktop. So here I'm going to have it for both. But sometimes when you're building out your homepage, you might find that it does look good on mobile. Uh, sorry, it does look good on desktop, but not for mobile. So what I would do then is I would probably go to the hero. I would then duplicate. So you've got two hero images and then I would bring that one up to the next one and then probably just rename hero for desktop. And then hero, I would just go for mobile. And then what I do in each one, make sure you're in the right one. I would hide this on the mobile, save that. And then here I would actually go back and I go to the mobile version and then into the desktop hide section for desktop. That's how you can have two slightly different sections, but one showing on desktop, one showing on mobile. So go through each container each section of your home page and build out try and showcase what you're all about and call someone to take action you can either put testimonials here you can either talk a little bit more about yourself and what you offer but always try and have a call to action on every page actually if you look throughout your entire website you should either be calling someone to action either trying to grow your email list or downloading something or inviting them to uh, take the sale. So actually investing in a program with you. So just have a look through your entire website if you have started building these out and just, just say, am I calling someone to action either to give them my email address for a free guide or a free training or am I actually calling them to actually invest and purchase something with me? So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpeaton.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.